All right, so I'm here with Carlos. Uh, what's up, man? How's it going, boss? Uh, not too bad. Um, yeah, I uh, brought it to your attention about what's going on with uh, what Nigel had to say about you and all that. Yeah, actually, I just found out about it uh, within the last couple of days. Um, I had no idea this was going on, and um, wow. Yeah, that's that's my response to wow about everything. So. I just wanted to, you know, I respect you for coming on to talk about this to begin with. And I just, just had a few questions about what's going on just so I could hear what you had to say about it all. Yeah, for sure. I've been living life at peace. So um, just go ahead question up. All right, man. Well, you're obviously now aware of what Nigel said in the messages with Dan Webbs. That was a private conversation between you two. Yeah, I thought that was A and B, but uh, I guess I, uh, seed my way out on that one. Uh, it was kind of crazy. Um, yeah, you, you, you're having a private conversation and you don't expect somebody to go post it online and start causing a bunch of shit. No, nah, it just feels like the high school effect. Yeah, it's exactly. Um, but yeah, no, I just wanted to go over what he said and like, there's a, just a couple things. Uh, like one of them, he basically said that you sent like photos to an underage girl of yourself in underwear Nah, man, that never happened. There was no underwear at all. I don't even send underwear to my, like, girlfriend to this day, like, at all. Yeah, so that's just all just bullshit then? I, I, I would say it's bullshit. I'm sorry to cuss, you know. I'm sorry to use derogatory words, but, like, dude, like, this guy has always hated me. So it's like, what am I doing here? Yeah, no doubt. Well, you gotta, like, you know clear the wave and like you know stand up for, to stand up for yourself because if somebody's gonna i guess make... i have to you know i'm trying to live life at peace you know like the company that i wrote for is all done and a lot of my sponsors like because of this controversy is bullshit so i don't want anything to do with it so i'm okay with that yeah no you definitely uh want to clear the waves and stuff i um... think so Let's see here. So that's just basically all just bullshit. Just him causing drama. Then there's no actual proof of any of that. And then uh, basically, like from what he was saying in the the messages to Dan that was between you guys was that also there was an incident where you were like helping a girl skate, and he claims that like you touched her inappropriately when you were trying to help her. Honestly, if I did, it was a very honest accident. Um, you know how you like you catch a fellow skateboarder. I I don't know what happened, and if it was like derogatory or anything, it was an accident. Yeah, no, I like, I teach, you know how you, I you, teach, you, know, so. you know how you catch your fellow skateboarder. I was just trying to like protect a person. Yeah, no, I I so they don't fall down. I know how that is. You know, somebody's gonna fall. You're just gonna go try to catch them. You're not thinking of where you're placing your hands at the moment. Yeah, no, and this is like five years ago. And I feel so bad because they, they should have just brought it up to my attention immediately. And I had no idea. Well, what I find weird is, like you just said, this was five years ago. And I thought this was recent. But, like, something from five years ago, if it was a big enough issue, you figure the girl that this happened to would have brought it up. She would have mentioned it at the moment. And... I think so. I think that would have been the more proper thing to do. For yeah. sure. And like the fact that she didn't even mention it and then now five years later she still hasn't mentioned it or brought it up. It's now Nigel bringing this forward is just really kind of weird to me that he would bring this up and it was an, it was like an accident. It was an honest mistake that wasn't even a big deal. It was an honest accident and if anybody knows you personally lately especially like I did not do anything derogatory or anything on that platform like it was just i was just trying to help out a fellow skateboarder yeah and like somehow it, it escal somehow it escalated to like something more and and nobody approached me to any of this like recently like it, it all just kind of came to fruition to um like man like i'm all of a sudden this and that and which is crazy because like i'm not that person well, I do skateboard instructing and lessons and like, yeah, you try to like help out. If somebody's going to fall, you're going to catch them and you're not concerned about where your hands go. And, you know, accidents do happen. And like you figured like I 
I would figure if it was an incident at the time, if it was a big deal, if, you know, the girl would have brought it up, it would have been dealt with then. Why didn't Nigel or anybody else that was there bring it up? Or even like a few days later, nothing was said, nothing happened. And then the now five years later, he's bringing this up to cause a bunch of like high school drama, it seems like. Yeah, I don't really believe in that kind of gossip. And it was just, uh, it was like an honest mistake, I guess. It was just something that I, I was just trying to help out a fellow skateboarder. Like, that's my argument, you know? Yeah, and you... But nobody did it, Nobody did anything wrong, you know? And if it was that bad, they, they should have just brought it up to me initially. And I had no problem, like, to say sorry, you know? Yeah, no, 100%. No, I I feel you on that one. And that's where, like, even the messages between you two, you even said that you didn't do anything. Like, it, like you didn't even think at the time when that happened it was an issue. Like, it was just you're catching somebody and you're moving on. And, like, the rest of the day you guys skated and everything was fine. So you figured if it was an issue, like I said, it would have been brought up then, maybe a couple days later or even a week. But nothing happened. Five years later, now he's bringing this up to cause problems. And it's like it wasn't even an incident if it was such a big deal you figured the girl would be coming out with it not some guy that was there you know five years later yeah for sure and but, honestly you know I'm, I'm happy for the person like um you know doing their content and all that stuff it was really nothing like and if it was a big deal like what you said it would have been like controversial but i i didn't do anything yeah and but all of a sudden, like, five years later, you know, like, at this point, dude, I'm epileptic. Like, I I found out that I can't really skate that much anymore. So I have, like, a lot of other things I'm focusing on in my health and my life to where I understand that I can't really skateboard anymore. Yeah. And I'm okay with that. It's, it's been nothing but great. It's been a privilege. But I promise you guys, from the bottom of my heart, like, nothing happened. Yeah, it was it was an accident, if anything, and it wasn't intentional. Yeah, that's like what I'm trying to tell everybody. But you know, it's like the high school effect. It's all gossip, and everybody just like wants to hate me. I'm I'm honestly like I don't really want to like get into it, but I'm already getting death threats, and people want to just like you know beat me up and all that stuff. Well, yeah, because they're taking for, for what? they're taking a private conversation between you and Nigel. And they're taking it out of uh, concept. Like they don't know the whole concept about it, like everything that or the context that happened prior, during, or even after. Like there's even like this. What I was going to mention is like in your response to him, you even said like you didn't want to say anything about about Braille because you wanted everyone to still have a job. And like people took yeah. that out of context. So like honestly, I can say this out loud. Um, yes, I was excessively drinking. That was my fault. I take full responsibility. I didn't mean that, like, I wanted them to lose a job because of that. I just knew that, like, I didn't want to ruin the company. And I busted my butt every single day. Every single day to try to get, you know, the notoriety for the company. Yeah. And it became, like, you know, it became very stressful because... There were some times where people couldn't, like, get the videos done, so I would step up and just get it done. Yeah, so that's where I wanted to ask you that, because, like, you know, somebody that has no idea about what's going on or the context, they just read these messages, and they're going to think, oh, that was because of the incident at the park with the girl, but it had nothing to do with that. The the context was, was the drinking aspect, and... yeah. Something I'm not really proud of, and I apologize to the bottom of my heart. Like, that was my fault. Yeah, at least the you're own owning up to it was, now, right? Oh, no, for sure. But uh, my main thing was I was just, like, losing my health. Yeah. You know, it was, you know, running skate camps, uh, skate lessons, uh, you know, uh, cleaning the warehouse. Like, it, it was just, like, a lot of... You know, there's really no excuse for it. Like, yeah, well, it's you're... like owning up to like, you know, I I just I left I left a Long Beach uh, family. You know, like people who helped me out for a long time, and I didn't know that when going to Braille was gonna like make me feel like alone. So. Yeah, but that's your own 
personal choice and issues like you know that didn't have anything to do with what happened or what's being you know falsely alleged about you even though like none of that's true it's all bullshit and whatever you know you were dealing with like that has nothing to do with like you know other people like um because like you know other people have issues and then you know like you like you know i'm pretty sure you know some stuff on people but you're not going to bring that up because it's personal it's private and there's no reason to other than like you know if you're just trying to ruin somebody or you have like a vendetta or you hate them or something you know no nah, i really have no hate for anybody i as much as like i wish i could i i hate myself because i have such a big heart and it's nobody's fault that what happened you know i was happy to help the company out but yeah like excessive drinking you know that that happens you know like especially in the skate industry you know like you, you think like bam margera and stuff yep. like people go through all that stuff and it was just like a big void um to like deal with and i i just at the time i was just like by myself but you like, and... now are you still drinking or are you sober I actually been more sober these days uh, That's since good. my father since my father passed away it's just been you know that was like my best friend so when he passed it was kind of like a no brainer yeah no i'm sorry to hear about losing a father and uh, your brothers that must have been really hard yeah oh yeah uh, my brother uh, you know i, I saw a brother uh, pass away in front of me uh, overdose and uh, one of my other brothers uh, got shot in the heart yeah, that's that's the most. So there, there was a lot of these like uh, factors that just you know occurred, and and it was it was just so hard to fight depression, but drinking was like not the factor anymore. Like I, I hated it. I hated what I'd done. Yeah. So and, um, um, the the main reason, like I guess, uh, you left Braille wasn't because of all these other things that are being alleged that's false. It was on your own terms because of mental stress and like things you were going through personally and you just couldn't deal with it anymore. It sounds like. Uh, it was just more of the fact that like, you know, all I ever did was try to help the company grow. And I know like certain people will call it bullshit or whatever, you know, but work was getting done. Like the only thing I'm guilty of was, was drinking. Yeah, that was like the biggest part that I honestly regret as a human being, and I hated like what I became because of that. And what sucked is because like I was getting more notoriety out of it, and it was horrible because it just wasn't honest work on my end. Yeah, well, like I said, we all have our own personal issues, and like I said, even. I'm pretty sure, like, you know, there's other guys that you know of that have issues or that, that have done things, but you're not going to throw them under the bus. There's no reason for that. Like, it's yeah. just not who you are, you know, like, and for Nigel to come out with all this between a private conversation and then post it without any context, making you look like this evil person when you're not, um, it's just, it just shows you what kind of character he is to me personally, because like he could have before he posted all this, he could have reached out to you and talked to you a bit more, or even like, you know, I think it was Dan Webbs that was the first person to report on it. He could have even reached out to you before posting this, you know, to find out your side. And he didn't, he just posted it because it's just drama and it would get him clicks, you know? Yeah. But what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Like sink down to that level and that hate? No, no, not like, at all. I have, I, I have a big heart and I just don't, believe in that you know like people go through stuff all the time and people got to understand about that aspect of life and yeah I'm, I, like i said i'm not proud of like anything that i've done you know but work got done I, yeah. I, like there was over i think 300 videos that i did for bro that's a lot of videos <laughs> and i thought it was like you know like work was getting done but i didn't know that there was like a jealous aspect of it and I, I hate it that, you know, instead of being, like, appreciated, I didn't know that there was hate. And there, there's that aspect of, like, dang, like, you, you work hard and 
nobody appreciated anything you did. That's the, that's the skate industry sometimes, depending, you know, how it goes. It's not everybody, but there's a, a few bad cats out there that are like that, unfortunately. Yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just skating, you know. For me, it was just, you know, like, these videos got to get done. Yeah. So let's just do it. Yeah, exactly. Like, no matter what. Yeah. Like, it's it's work in the end of the day. Yeah, well. I didn't know that there, I didn't know that there was, like, that much hate like a part of it and like wow you know yeah well people like i said they don't even get both sides of the story they don't get the context they just go off of what's said on and then it's posted on the internet and then like people are like oh they don't realize that this has complications like this is impacting your life now like you're getting death threats you're worried that if you go out somewhere someone's going to attack you and all because of a private conversation between you and nigel that was shared to another YouTuber that posted the video and uh, a lot of the allegations in it are false. Like you said, like you sending photos of yourself is bullshit. Like that's just, there, there, there's no facts. There's no truth to that at all. There's no proof. There's no evidence. It's just his word against yours to try to throw you under the bus. And then also mentioning this one incident with a girl at a park that you were helping. And that was like five years ago and it was an accident. It was an honest mistake, but then like, it was nothing because you were just trying to help somebody from not falling. And like Shakespeare put it, shit happens. You know, like if you're trying to catch somebody, you're not really thinking about, oh, I'm going to grab them here. You're just trying to catch them. And if something happened, they should have mentioned it at that time. The girl should have brought it up or even a week later. But five years from now, no, Nigel's bringing it up and the girl's like non-existent. And like, it's not even like it wasn't an issue then. It shouldn't be an issue now. And it was an honest mistake. If anything, it was an accident. And even then, in skateboarding, you're aware, like, you can't, you know, shit happens. You fall, you're going to get hurt yourself. And if you're teaching a kid and all that, you're trying to be there to help them so they're not going to hurt themselves. And unfortunately, with what happened, I think it's like Nigel's just taking it out of context just to try to, you know, screw you over for some weird reason, which doesn't, you know. No, I wouldn't even look at it that way. It's just more of like... Like, dude, you know, people make mistakes, but it was an honest accident. And, yeah, if it was a factor, and it was, it's five years ago, like, the, the family would have, like, contacted me or, like, you know, and, like, context itself would have been, you know, like, initiative. But yeah, nobody it said anything, so I, ha I had no idea. Like, Yeah, it was unintentional. Sudden, like, now, I, now I'm just getting attacked, you know. Like, I have death threats. I have, like, all this stuff happening that – you know, like all I ever done was just try to like inspire skateboarding. And that's what we And uh, do, just right? recently, like, you know, like my sponsors, you know, just went under and I don't have that aspect of, you know, freaking like, it's really hard to explain yourself when nobody approached you initially. Yeah, no, everything it's... is just kind of like an enigma. Like everything's like I'm, I'm so confused. Like what happened? It's all out in the air, and there was nothing that you could have done to prevent it or even mention anything. Yeah, I mean, know? if you would have told me in the beginning, I would have been, like addressed it initially, and it would have been fine. But you know, there's people who just have egos and just want to have hate, and you know, I don't blame them for that. But for me, like, dude, my health is so bad, like. I have epilepsy now. I'm like on meds like just recently and I can't really skateboard anymore. Like how can you cancel somebody out who's canceled himself out already? Yeah. It's, I think that's the, that's the biggest part like that bothers me the most, you know, it's like why still have that hate? And, and if it was a big problem, it would have been, a, you know, five years ago. Yeah, exactly. Like, when it first happened. It, it should, should have been everywhere. I understand, like, you guys were part of the same team, same, like, business. So, like, I know there's, a, like, a little bit in skateboarding. There's, like, a see, no, hear, no evil, speak no evil kind of thing. I guess so. So, like, if there was an issue, I guess he didn't feel like, oh, I'm in the right position to mention it because it's going to cause problems for not only both of you, but then, like, the company and everybody that's involved. So it's better just to stay quiet. But now he's not with any of that. So now he's, like, bringing this all up. But, like... If it was like a, if it was a, a big issue, the girl would have brought it up. 
Like there would have been yeah, more to well, it. Well, you know what? Good for him. Yeah, exactly. Like, I have no hate in my heart, man. Like, if anybody ever met me in person, like, I'm not that person. And I hate the fact that, like, you know, like after everything I've done, it's been a factor of uh, people, you know, just treating me the way that they do lately. And it's like, dude, I still don't like. I hate myself so much because I have a big heart. And it's it's just so sad that like, you know, all I ever did was skate for fun and just love the sport of it. Yeah. Like the business side of it, I'm okay with like not being a part of it anymore. Yeah, <laughs> business. You know, going out and skating and having fun and enjoying it's one thing, but getting into the yeah, business I mean, and industry is kind of kind of sucks. You know, just doing a like a good kickflip on the flat. You know. Like, yeah. Oh, well, there's nothing be- greater than the feeling of skating. That's for sure. But, but yeah, man, like uh, everything that's happening right now, like I just want you to know it's all false allegations and it's all like I'm sorry to even use this word, but it's all bullshit. Yeah, I kind of saw that. It's just somebody, it's just somebody who fucking hates me so much. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Like, damn, dude. Like, you turn pro and you're, you're uh, using it for bad terms you know like i don't i don't care like anymore well like i said like um i know i respect you for even talking to me to begin with you know like to come out and even to get on here to talk to me like you have my respect for that because it's it's something you sh- one shouldn't have to be doing and for two it's no, like really I, difficult you know i'm just trying to live life at peace but like there's some people who just i guess like their ego is bigger than their moon you know yeah like i don't really have an ego i never really had like i was happy to be skateboarding and i was happy to grow the braille channel and all that time no it sounds like it you you're a phenomenal skater and have passion for the like this the sport so yeah, but all the allegations are just really false, and it it just sucks that like those guys are trying to like they're trying to cancel me out when I already cancel myself out. Like I'm okay with living a normal life. Yeah, and springing nothing... something up from five years ago too is just just really what the hell. But if it was a problem, you know, like everything would have been brought up then, and I I would have owned up to it. But I had no idea that happened. Yeah. So obviously, like what you said is all bullshit, and there's nothing even there. So he's just trying to cause you, sh- cause you shit. Just cause. Oh, shit. dude, I got, I, dude, I'm getting death threats, and like people want to beat me up, you know, like meet me in the ring, you know, like stupid. <laughs> yeah, no, that that is, that is stupid. Cause like, there's no proof. There's no evidence. It's just his word against yours, and um. You know, you're you have no reason not to be honest with me or tell me the truth about what's going on. And I even reached out to Nigel. I reached out to Dan. Uh, they both completely ignored me. The only I reached out to you, and I was actually pretty surprised that you actually responded. So, like I said, I respect you for actually responding. And like, there's no reason for you to even respond to me and like come on here and do all this. But it just goes to show you that your character, that you know, you're a good guy, and you're just trying to clear the the, the waves and show the truth and like the truth is is that it's all like you said bullshit and shit happens and if there was anything there it should have been dealt with five years ago but the thing is is that it wasn't dealt with five years ago because there was nothing there nothing happened yeah exactly and if there was something they should have brought it up yeah but on my end like no (laughs) that's the point is that there was absolutely nothing you know, even if it was an like, accident or a slip up or something that was unintentional, it. it... And I, I and I hate this video, by the way, just so you know, because I know that Nigel's gonna say something else, because he hates me. He genuinely hates me. He's hated me since day one. Yeah. That's... He even like screenshotted everything that was A and B, and he showed uh, like the world, like my screenshots. Yeah, well, like I said, I looked it all up, and the legality of it is he's legally allowed, you're allowed to share private screenshots, but if he's causing yeah, you harm, sure. 
he's causing you harm and that's where the the legality of it is is that he can actually be uh, liable and responsible for that and i don't even think he's aware of that uh probably not but no but you're not even going to go that route like you probably have all means to go this legal route and nail him for this because he's causing you harm but you're not even gonna bother doing that you just want to move on with your life and live peacefully without dealing with this stuff i would like to think that but uh, apparently um he caused so much controversy and um i just i guess i don't really care anymore um like enough is enough yeah like no. you want you want the platform go ahead take it you're pro happy for you do your thing yeah just, just keep you, know, you out just, of it <laughs> yeah just enough is enough yeah I, I think that's my attitude right now these days yeah well hopefully after this comes out it just all goes away because there's nothing there there's no photos there's no proof there's no evidence there's nothing it's just bullshit and it's all he said she said and you already owned up to what happened there's no photos you owned up yeah. to what happened at the park if anything it might have been an incident it was an accident shit happens i'm a skateboard instructor i know how it goes hey look it was just a lonely life excessive drinking i admit to that and the guilt will never leave my life okay like i feel that way every day yeah but it was my fault it was my problem but as far as the allegations no that never happened well that's that's one like, thing that uh you know is respectful about you is that you don't even have to own up to the drinking but you're owning up to that you're apologizing for the drinking and you don't even have to go there you know it's the other stuff that people are worried about and even that yeah, stuff I no, get that it's, part. it's yeah it's like that it just goes to show you that your character you know that you're acknowledging that so you know, if you're going to acknowledge that, then, you know, why would you bullshit yourself about what's going on? Like, you have no reason to. And I, I think, like, this was all just something that happened five years ago that was taken out of context. And it should have never even been brought up this today. Well, why, would, why would I lie at this point? Exactly. There's no reason for it. Like, everything, it happened, you know. Like, the company grew. It was nice. It was awesome to be a part of the program. But there was a lot of, uh, you know, just, like, depression, you know? Like, there was a lot of, uh, like, I, I don't know how to say this, like, without sounding depressed, but there was a lot of, like, you know, loneliness, I guess. Well, yeah, you left and your family it. and friends to go to a, a different, you know, state or a different whatever to you know, follow your dreams and work with this company and grow. So, like, yeah, I can understand completely. That would, that would be really hard. Never, yeah, but I never had an ego like that. Like, I was always grateful for everything. And, um, like, there's people calling me out and all this stuff these days, and I'm like, like, for what? Like, you guys are the mad ones. You guys are the ones who are, like, judging Dude, yeah. I'm just a skateboarder. Yeah, and you're That's just it. trying to live your life now in peace. Uh, these days, these days especially, you know, like the company I, I was pro for for seven years. Thank, I, I won't name name the company, but it's it's been nothing but a pr privilege. Well, that's awesome, then. That, you know, that's that's huge. And like enough is enough. Like I, I just can't do social media anymore. Like I, I'm done. Yeah. Well, and, especially uh, with what, this kind of what, stuff. What Nigel's doing right now, I get it. You know, you just turned pro. But I, I wish you wouldn't, um, you know, like, how do I say this without being like an a hole? Well, I look at it as there's no reason for Nigel to bring any of this stuff up other than he has like a personal vendetta or he hates you or something, in my mind. Uh, I'm, he's always hated me. Yeah, so. So I just feel like. Um, I wish, like, you would use your platform to just leave people be. Yeah, 100%. Like, I, at one point in my life, like, I'm just kind of like, I just want to be left alone. I'm not chasing anything anymore. Like, I had a great run. It was fun. Yeah, well, at least you you can, you know, say that. A lot of people can't, so it's good that you can look back and say, yeah, you know, I was 
pro. I have all these models. I did my best when I was doing my best. And you can look back on that and be proud of it, you know? Yeah, it's like saying, what a rag. Exactly, right? And we're all human. We're all on this planet. We're all trying to learn and grow, you know? And you might be somebody back in the day, and then now you're, you know, you, you learn from your, and you grow, so... I... Yeah, I honestly don't have an ego. And um, if everything was that aspect of life, like, I would have owned up to it. But nobody said anything to me. So everything is, like, news to me right now. Yeah, no, it's probably a big shock. I know if, if I went on social media or went online and then saw that I had all these messages and threats and all that, I'd be like freaking out. I'd be like, what's going on? And then find out, oh, this private conversation with somebody bringing up something that's not even legit or even like, you know, that happened and blowing it out of context just to cause drama. And I don't know, I don't like, like I said, if Nigel personally hates you, then that explains why he would do this. Um, other than that, there's no reason for him to do that. Like, unless he's trying to be like, oh, I'm bringing out the truth, but we just went over what the truth was. Unless like, you know, unless this girl ends up coming out and saying like, like this is what happened. But like between us, like this was like an incident that happened and it wasn't even an incident. Like it shouldn't even be Not called really. an incident because it was just, it wasn't even an issue at the time and it should still not be an issue yeah well kind of is what it is but uh yeah uh, as far as that factor goes like it wasn't really a big deal yeah the fact that he brought it up that's his problem and well he made it your ego... problem though that's the problem yeah, is like it's, it's his problem with you but he brings it up to cause you problems and he now it's out of his hands and he's like it's just causing you a bunch of shit that you shouldn't even be dealing with so at least we yeah, were able to know. get on here and clear up you know what was actually said and what the context was and people might believe you people might believe nigel but that's the problem yeah, with the that, internet. that part it's that part is all like um you know like it's context, you know. I don't, I don't know. It's yeah. It's... You believe what you, you guys believe what you want to believe, but trust me, if you ever meet me in person, I'm not the bad person, and I have nothing bad to say about that person. It's just more of a context like thing, like just. I'm just trying to live my life. Like I know that I'm epileptic now, and I, I know that like I'm suffering from like health issues, and I. I'm just trying to live my life, you know? Like, why can't you just fucking let me be? Yeah. And I'm sorry to cuss, but, like, it's it's literally to that point where I always watch my mouth, but it's like you have this fucking Australian and this person, like, just attacking me for what? What do you guys want out of this? Like, it, it's all money? It's just, Go ahead, take yeah. the money. That's what it sounds like because nobody even really contacted you prior to any of this. No, not at all. Everything is just news to me like three days ago. Yeah, that's crazy to me. You figure like, yeah. It don't, It just almost seems like, like, like we we're saying the context of everything. It's like the news. Sometimes you watch the news and there could be a certain story, but then like you can actually find out that they took it out of context and it's completely something else. And this is what's happening here. Nigel's saying one thing, but the thing is, is the context and it was completely something taken it's out of proportion. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. Yeah, it's he just twisted all it. wrong. He changed it to what he wanted to... If it was a fucking problem, he would have talked to me in that context, but nobody personally messaged me or anything. Everything is just accusations, and I hated that part of it. You know, like, it's been nothing but a roller coaster. Yeah, none of this should have been brought up, to be honest. But like, from my personal opinion, this should have never been brought up. I have no idea why Nigel's bringing it up. And I don't know either. It just kind I don't of blows know. my mind. I don't understand. If it blows your mind, that's crazy because it's just people trying to attack one another, and I don't understand it. Other than this, like you said, the the whole aspect of getting views and getting publicity and I guess the money aspect and all that kind of stuff and 
I, I I hope that's not a factor though. Like I mean, like that's allegations on my end, but it just sounds like that. And yeah, because stuff like this should be dealt with privately and personally. It shouldn't be blown up on the internet unless there's like other alter alternative motives in my mind, you know. And like like we already went over this. Like this was from five years ago. There it was never an issue then. It should never be an issue now. Yeah, I really don't even know how to approach it because, like, as of these days, I'm epileptic. I can't really skate anymore. And everything's kind of gone. Like, why do you kick somebody when they're down? That's usually what they do, man. They kick you when you're down, rub the salt in the wounds, you know? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, and unfortunately, some people are like that. Some people just move on with their lives and others if they personally hate you or have vendettas or something against you they'll just keep going at you yeah vendetta yeah the best word ever yeah well i appreciate and respect you for coming on at least talking to me about all this and you know giving me your side yeah, of everything. I just, honestly i just don't want any drama and like i said i i'm never one to cuss on camera or anything like that but it, it's all bullshit yeah. And I can't fucking sit there and just listen to people attacking me all the time. Like, there's some times where you have to fucking put your foot down and just say, hey, like, dude, you're wrong for this. Yeah. And if you're going to do this for money, then you're wrong. Yeah, no, it's it sounds like that's it's it's, it's just a wrong situation all around. It should have just never been. It should, this should have never happened. But now that it's happened and it's blown up and all these other people. Yeah. You know, you got like Shredder News, you got Piss Skate, everybody's like jumping on it. Even yeah. I think Brian Arnett made a video on it. Um, yeah. You know, nobody's actually, like, has anyone actually reached out to you personally other than not myself? At, not at all. Like, everything is brand new to me. Yeah, so that, that just goes to show you, like, all these people are just jumping on it for views and clicks and not even trying to get down to the actual, the truth of it. Like I said, I even reached out to Nigel and he didn't even respond, so... It would be nice to hear his side of things and where he's coming up, but it's I'm, I'm no, gonna... I I know where he's gonna come from. Yeah, and, no, I'm, um, yeah. Honestly, like, dude, enough's enough. Just can you just let me live my life? Well, I'm happy I was able to talk to you because now that I know what actually happened and it's been like blown out of proportion in context. If Nigel does reach out to me and I talk to him, then I have more of an understanding, so I can just be like. Like, what are your actual gains or what's your motive here? Like, you're just, you're twisting things, like, you know, and you're, you don't have any proof. And like, if anything, like, it's just all false allegations and maybe something did happen, but it was an accident. It wasn't intentional. And if it was an issue, why didn't you guys deal with it then? You know, and like bringing it up now, it just seems really far-fetched like it just yeah there's more, more to it than just him being like i'm the good guy i'm exposing carlos for being a bad guy but that's not the case at all you coming out here and talking to me it's... shows that you're like sincere and you have nothing to like you know lie about no i have no reason to lie um and if anybody doesn't believe me like i apologize but there's really like, if you meet me in person, it's always a genuine guy. Yeah, well, and there's always going to be people out there that, you know, aren't going to, like, believe, right? Like, you know, when Fetty... I, I, I think so. Like, I think, like, that point, and, like, I, I'm sorry to cuss, but, like, you know, fuck the allegations. Like, this is so bullshit. No, 100%. And I can't deal with that, like, all the time, you know? Well, like, just know I'm a good I'm a good person, man. Like you guys gotta understand that. I don't do anything ever to ruin people's lives or anything. Well hopefully and... after this people will see the actual truth and how it was taken out man, of context <laughs> and twisted and they'll just kind of move on with it. I I hope so, because the last thing I need in life is hate. Well, yeah, you should be with getting... Everything, with, everything, with everything lost, you know, in my life, you know, like, I still don't blame anybody. Like, shit happens. Nobody did anything wrong. And, like, like I said, it's like a high school effect. Everybody just listens to gossip. Yeah, well, there should be like, no... Enough, enough's enough. 
nobody should be giving you hate or threatening your life over uh, false allegations through private messages that were taken out of context. And they don't even know yeah. the whole truth. Yeah, no. So, well, that's I'm just confident. unfortunate. No worries. Well, I'm confident. I guess we'll leave it at that. Uh, you know, I appreciate yeah, I, you coming on. Yeah, I think on. so. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll call it there. And um, honestly, guys, I have the biggest heart in life. And I'm not a bad person. And whatever egotistical person that ever hates me, that's just on them, you know. And karma could come back to you. Yeah. But enough's enough. Well. I think I'm, uh, with that being said, I love all you guys. And thanks for all the love and support. But just know that everything is wrong. Well, there you go, man. I just, just wanted to say before I uh, sign off here too, is that uh, I respect you and appreciate you coming on to at least talk about this and, you know, bring these things to light and what actually happened and what the, the whole truth was and giving your side and everything. So, and yeah, it's really I, hard. I feel, like, I feel like it was valid. Yeah. No, I appreciate you, you, man. Appreciate you coming Please. on. Always. All right, well, I'm going to end this now. You guys heard it from Carlos himself directly on the allegations that were completely false, bullshit, and taken out of context. So uh, you guys can either believe him or not believe him, but, you know, you guys are all entitled to your own opinion, but just know that this, there's nothing even here. It's just all bullshit. Yeah, you think? Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, I'm going to leave it at that, I guess. Thanks for coming on, man. I appreciate it. All right, no worries, man. Hopefully, this, hopefully this all just blows under and everyone I, just moves I, on. I hope it helps out for sure. Much love, man. It was good talking to you. All right, brother.